Welcome to everybody. How's everybody doing? It's Thursday night for me right now, actually. I just came outside in the garage for a little bit. Just going over some of the goodies that Spartan Power sent me. This is some high amp stuff right here. Look at that. Wow. Anyways, not in this video, probably another video. I'm going to have to totally clean up my gold. Um, the gold panning trip that I just took. Dave cleaned up his gold. He was there one more day longer than I was, but he got three grams of gold, which is really good. I'm still working on some issues with mine, so I'd like to see a gram. Who knows how it's gonna be. You guys saw the video. That looked like there was quite a bit of gold, but you won't know until you clean it up. It always looks more than what you really got. Other than that, I need to make some modifications to my sluice. Um, need to weld in some more bars in the Grizzly that'll classify it down even more. Um, a few other things. Man, that wind's picking up outside. It has been the worst summer ever. I thought last year was bad because of all the rain, because we had like 100 days of rain. And this year we've had 100 days of 30 plus weather. There's been forest fires all summer. This whole area has been covered in smoke. Uh, no off-road vehicles allowed in the bush. There's no campfires. So this summer down where I am has totally sucked. If you want to have a campfire, you have to go north. Another gorgeous hot day out, still in the morning. Um, Want to get home and start doing some work. But I'm gonna head up north to Boulder Outdoor Products, picking up an actual refrigerator to use in my truck. That Coleman cooler has worked great, but I've been wanting an actual fridge for a while. So let's go pick one up. This is the bad boy right here, Domatech CFX50W refrigerator freezer you can tell you right now the packaging stinks like something died in there this thing about is that you can flip the door around because for my purposes I want to flip the other way that way once in the back of my truck it's accessible better open it up just getting the little knobs transferred over you can see right here there's just a little tab that you just pull out and you transfer over to this side or vice versa Gonna screw that in, throw that door back on. So I'm gonna put a four pack of beer in there. So right now I'm setting the temperature. Let's go 25 degrees. See we're running off the solar panel here, 13 volts. 1.5 amps. Battery 13.3 volt. Down to 13. Just trying this bad boy out. Let it run for just over an hour. Drop it down to 27 degrees in an hour. Motherfucking beer time. Oh yeah. My beer's cold. I'm happy. I am actually pretty curious if one of these jump starters could run this fridge for any length of time. Well, I got it set up. We'll see what happens. I think the battery drain is going to be pretty quick on this. So it's been over an hour. Ah, oh, there we go. We just shut down. Low voltage shut down. So it takes about a half hour uh, to run the cooler, get it up to speed. And then we ran for like another half hour, maybe 40 minutes afterwards. But I think short term, uh, you could use a jump starter once the fridge is cooled to maintain it for a few hours. Then I have to test that and see. Alrighty, I just finished cutting these. One of the things we gotta do to the sluice is I'm going to make my bars, my grizzly bars a little narrower. And the reason why I'm doing that because it'll allow smaller rocks to go through. And I think because one of the reasons why I'm losing gold is larger rocks are going through and as those rocks are bouncing on the mat, it's knocking the gold out. So I'm going to narrow the bars, we're going to make another modification to it, and hopefully now I'll have it dialed in. Alright, this is how it looks beforehand. Let's weld those rods in in the middle and you'll see the difference. All 
right, got the grizzly bars a little bit more narrow. Gotta keep a lot of the bigger rocks from flowing on through. So then I got halfway through another mod and then decided to back out. Picked up this miner's moss. I was going to use that V matting in the upper high banker to catch more material but the problem is the flower gold will stick really heavily in this miner's moss and it'll be a bitch to clean. And that's how it would have sat. Just like that. Still debating. There'd be a lot more cons to clean up. Also a lot less gold lost too. But with doing the addition, with making the grizzly bar smaller, I may correct a lot of that too. Only one way to find out is to take it out and use it again. I think I'm going to keep that idea. It's already cut to size. Put it on the back burner for now. Alright, motherfucking beer time. Do you know what we got here? Chill Coot by Yukon Brewing. You can buy it in Calgary now at Sundance Wine Market. This is the best beer ever. That quenches the thirst for sure. Beer worth freezing for. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Just about to start cleaning the gold. A lot of you guys want to see what's going on. Probably have been asking questions already. We're going to do it in the next video. Clean up everything year to date and see what we got. I'm hoping to have over a gram. I know that sounds like a little, but I got to set the baseline somewhere. And if we got more than that, it's going to be a bonus. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.